Hello, welcome to Adara Unboxed. In this episode, we're going to be checking out yet another crate of craft beer delivered to my home by Tavor. This big old box has been sitting in my refrigerator for <laughs> like a month now and I haven't opened it because I really wanted to make a video and share these beverages with you, but I just haven't actually had time to sit down and do it. So we're doing it now. And I am super excited about this because I think I got some real winners in this crate. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm Adara. I unbox things. You're in for a treat this episode because we're going to be checking out some really cool, interestingly flavored craft beers from all over the US that I purchased through the app Tavor. If you're not familiar with Tavor, Tavor is a company that curates craft beverages around the US and then ships them from their warehouse directly to you. They have an awesome app, they release new beverages several times a day. Not only do they have beer, they also get ciders, they also get mead, sometimes they have wine. I am in it for the weird flavored drinks. I want the things that are like crazy fruity or like smoothie flavored or dessert flavored or just beverages that have like interesting sounding ingredients in them like milk lactose or bacon. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> I've spoken way more at length about Tavor and how to get started with Tavor, so I'll leave a link to that video down below so I don't have to bore you with all those details right now. But if you're interested in signing up for Tavor and getting craft beer delivered to your home, please consider using my referral link, which I will leave down below. It gives each of us $10 in craft beer. Speaking of referral credit, we have a few people to thank. The beer in this box was made possible by Brandon, Ismael, Alex, and George. Thank you so much wherever you are for using that referral link so that I could get some free beer in this box here today. If you've been around for any of my other Tavor unboxings, then you know the drill. We're gonna open this up, I'm gonna walk you through some of the awesome sounding beers that I was able to find, and then I will taste test one of them and let you know if it actually is awesome. Let's see what I got. First up, oh, I love this company. I have ordered something from them every single Tavor crate. This is from Mountains Walking Brewery, and I absolutely love their artwork. It always looks similar to this, like always in this style, but it's just so beautiful. So this is from their dessert cart line, and this is a pastry stout with pecans and caramel. Mm -hmm. Holy, holy, I just saw that it is 10.5% alcohol. So added bonus. Next up, this I believe I got two of. I'm gonna pull out the other one. Yes, I did. So this is from Taxman Brewing. And this is the Exemption Belgian Style Triple Ale Brewed with Spices. Crisp golden ale unites with lemon peel, orange peel, and coriander spices. Oh, yum, I cannot wait. I love coriander. If you don't know what coriander is, it's basically the flavor of Fruity Pebbles. Oh, and it's an 8.5, so another heavy hitter. I'm not gonna lie, I do look for higher alcohol percentage in my beverages because I am drinking alcohol to feel alcohol. Don't judge me. Next up, this is the one I was talking about. I'm very excited for this. We'll see if I actually like it though. This is from Three Sons Brewing Company and it is a bacon coffee maple brown stout. And this is a 7.25%, so not too crazy. I bought it for the bacon, of course I did. Like, if you see anything with bacon, you're gonna buy it. Bacon is the best food in the world. Am I wrong? Next. Oh yeah, this looked good too. So this is also from Three Sons Brewing Company, and it is a Grandma Fingers Banana Coconut Cream Pie Pastry Sour. Yum. So yeah, sour ale with natural flavors, pastry style, and this is an 8%. 
Next up, another Taxman brewing beverage. I got two of these. This is a Belgian style triple ale brewed with spices and aged in brandy barrels. It's 9% alcohol, probably from those brandy barrels. It is also an Abbey style triple ale with citrus peel and coriander, yum. Notes of peach brandy barrels. That just sounds delightful. I can't wait to try this one. Next. Oh yeah, did I get two of these? I got two of these and look how cute the artwork is. Sometimes I'm just buying these for the artwork because it's just too good. So this is from Tripping Animals Brewing Company and they always have cool sounding beers that have really cool labels like this. This is the Otters and O's milkshake style sour ale with banana, blueberry, blackberry, peanut butter, vanilla, and milk sugar. And it is 6% alcohol. Now this one is a tribute to RGB. Nope, to RBG. How wonderful is that can art? I think she would have loved it, don't you? <laughs> I'm fairly certain that if Ruth Bader Ginsburg was alive, she would approve of this beer. This is from Imagine Nation Brewing. I have not heard of them previously. This is my first beer with them. And this is a New England style IPA. This wasn't one that had any kind of crazy flavor. I bought it because of RBG. This one looked really good. It is a seltzer and it is from Untitled Art. I have had beer from them before and it was very good. And this is their Prickly Pear Guava Hard Seltzer. It is 5%, so not super high. One more to go. This is a beer from Urban Artifact. I have not tried them before. This is called Fire Iron. It is a tropical Midwest fruit tart. It is a 7.7% and it has real fruit in it. It has pink guava, banana, and passion fruit. It sounds very delicious. Prices varied on these, but I honestly didn't get anything that was too expensive. The most expensive thing that I bought was the Grandma Fingers. This was $9.99 plus tax. It is a 16 ounce if that helps soften the blow. And the least expensive beverages that I got were the Untitled Art Hard Seltzer and the Taxman Brewing Exemption Triple Ale that is not in the brandy barrels. Those were only $3.50 a can. They are a 12 ounce can. Let's try one, shall we? I was the most excited, I think, about this beer from everything in my box, the bacon maple coffee beer. So let's do it, folks. Join me on this wild ride as we try some bacon flavored beer. I'm suspicious, it just smells like coffee. Cheers, friends. This is probably the first time I've been pretty disappointed with a Tavor beer. It just tastes like stout. I don't taste maple. I absolutely do not taste bacon. And let me tell you, I would taste it if it was tasteable. I would find it in there but I don't. It just tastes like a stout. It tastes like coffee. It kind of makes me want to open another one, but I don't want to get trashed. Screw it. We're going to try another one. Let's try this Urban Artifact Fire Iron. Oh baby, this smells so good. It smells like guava juice. Salud. Oh, yes. 
I wish I had ordered more of this. If Tavor ever puts this back up, I will absolutely buy more than two. It is so good. It absolutely tastes like a like light, refreshing carbonated guava juice, but it also tastes like a sour beer. So there's like a really nice acidity to it that is a really nice balance with the sweetness. And I don't necessarily taste passion fruit, but I do get the undertones of banana and it's delicious. I'm happy I opened a second one because I think I'll get through this and then I think I'll be able to like more easily get, get through the brown ale that does not taste like bacon. Part of me just wants to go get like bacon bits and add it to the beer. Okay, that is it for me, friends. I'm gonna go binge watch something on some streaming platform and enjoy my beverages. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you use that referral code to sign up for Tavor yourself, I will make sure to shout you out in my next Tavor crate unboxing. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you very soon for another Adara Unboxed Adventure. Bye.